Good morning, everyone. Um, I was watching YouTube and Facebook, like I do. Uh, we didn't do a snar smarm cast uh, yesterday. Uh, uh, Zeus was busy, and I was not okay. So I was I was having some moments. Which is which is fine. So it's it's good. We don't have to we don't have to be smarmy. All the time. Ah. Uh, but this morning, I don't know what conservative right wing think tank group podcast Zeus was listening to. <sighs> Uh, that brought up Sam Harris and uh, uh, Islamists and nuclear first strikes and whether or not Sam Harris is evil for even all that, all that. I'll, I'll leave this video this that I was watching that I sent him in response that I sent Zeus in response in in the description if you're at all interested and all none of you will be it's fine just getting this off my chest the scenario is essentially the trolley scenario where if a uh, Sam Harris is using the example because it's a real-life example of a group, uh, extreme Islamists that think there is heaven uh, waiting for them if they martyr themselves uh, of fighting for their beliefs. Uh, so they are itching, they're a suicidal death cult, itching to be killed, to kill and be killed in adherence to their beliefs. The first, my first issue is Zeus thinks for some reason that Trump w would be able to prevent this. That a strong, strong, self appointed strong man authoritarian would somehow intimidate. A suicidal death cult with a nuclear warhead. I'm really glad you don't get to pick, man. I'm I, I think that is just as terrifying as the scenario of of the suicidal death cult having uh, nuclear warheads. Uh, I think uh, pretending or accepting that a self-proclaimed tough guy could somehow be scary enough or violent enough or vicious enough or author have the authority or the sway to stop a suicidal death cult from uh, 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 setting forth their plans to die in service of their beliefs. I, that's, that's terrifying and that's crazy. I think you're crazy. I don't, I don't, I think, I, there's no good answer but there's definitely worse answers, and that I think is is a crazy answer. Uh, but it is essentially the trolley problem. So, do you, if you absolutely know that a suicidal death cult has a warhead and they're going to launch it, do you launch a nuclear warhead at them first? I suppose the reasoning would be that if you did it first, you could stop their attack. It wouldn't, in my mind, uh, Jenk was uh, suggesting that, oh, if it was in America or the bomb was in Florida, they wouldn't do it because they're Americans. I, I disagree. If it's just an exchange stopping that from being launched, a purposeful launch to stop it, Again, you're just trading who dies. Uh, it's it's the trolley program, uh, uh, the trolley problem, but there's no three versus one. There's just a million versus a million. 
So there's no no winners here. My argument, all of this, uh, is is mostly in response to Zeus's uh, assertion that uh, a strong man could somehow a strong man <laughs> Trump uh, could somehow s make them behave. Okay, that's a nice fantasy. I disagree. But I have another scenario. Uh, and I'm going to de-escalate it just a little bit. Uh, I've never liked confrontation. One of the reasons I try and be uh, large and intimidating and muscular is so I can generally talk my way out of it and people are more hesitant to try and be physical with me. Not that I can fight, but I look like I can. And, and uh, bluff in Mother Nature works really good a lot of the time. I just don't have gills that I can hiss at people. So if I, if I could do that, I would absolutely do that. So in a scenario where there's a giant guy in a bar that uh, uh, I either hate or he hates me or for whatever reason, there is going to be a fight. And I have... I have, uh, I have snot. So I haven't been, I'm not feeling so fantastic. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so say I have, or I know I can kill him, or really hurt him enough to take him out forever and, and not in that bar fight, or, or, being an evolved primate, I can think ahead and know that we're in a society of law and order and the real power comes from the group. So at that point, and I think this is what the story of uh, Jesus in the Bible, for all you Christians out there, turning the other cheek. If they hit you on one cheek, offer them the other. And it's not a submissive act, it's a calculated one. The other issue I have with Christianity is a lot of it's just like, they're, oh, we're just all good, and no, it's all fucking calculated, because it has to be. It's real life. So the way to win that fight, I could, I mean, there's no amount, like, say it's a, uh, a political disagreement, and they're a Nazi, and I'm Antifa. There's, there's no amount of punishment or beating up he can do on me to change my mind, right? My ideology is not based on how well he can punch me. Just as his ideology probably is not based on how well I can beat him up. Because it's all ridiculous. Ideology is separate from violence. Uh, or separate from violence being convincing. I mean, you can brainwash. I mean, there's there's torture, and there, so there's there's other ways. But just a single fight, thinking that I would change his mind or his position by beating him up enough is ridiculous. But, oh, and I will get the stigma of if if it's obvious that I can take him or somebody that knows me knows I can beat him up, there will be a loss of status. Uh in that but if i decide to turn the other cheek and allow him to kick the living shit out of me and then when the authorities come i can raise my bloody finger and go yeah! i can have him put in jail for the rest of his life for attempted murder or or whatever the whatever the extreme you want to go with that i will except for missing a couple teeth probably win by taking the punch. So in a scenario where, say, the Middle East, or not the Middle East, uh, uh, an extremist group has a long-range missile, they happen to be Muslim, whatever, or make it Russian, a Russian extremist, I don't care. You know that they're going to launch a nuclear warhead and it's going to kill 10 million people in America. You could launch a nuclear warhead first and take out 10 million people over there, 
but then you will be seen as the aggressor because there'll always be that question, were they really going to do it? Was it really necessary? Was You will take the hit uh, of, of the question of, of being the aggressor. So the other answer, the whole purpose of this video, and it's a roundabout way, I apologize. Uh, I think another viable answer that can be brought up in a conversation like this with Sam Harris, and I would love to get his opinion on this, is mightn't it be better to take the hit, raise the bloody finger, and point at who did it, and let the world decide and change their mind? I, I would, I could argue, and it's a hard thing, turning the cheek, turning the other cheek is probably the hardest thing to do, especially when you're talking about nuclear warheads, to accept the blow and let that, let the horror of that change the world. In the trolley experiment or in the trolley question, what would I do? Would I kill 10 million people or would I kill 10 million people? I posit, I assert that it would probably be more beneficial to my cause to take the blow and let the guilt and outrage of the first of the of the extremists that that sent the missile uh, suffer the ramifications uh and we uh, maintain the, the higher road. 10 million people, 10 million innocents in this scenario are gonna die either way. One way is a knee-jerk defense, how dare you? The other way is a calculated effort to change the world for the better. I think, and I think a, an authoritarian blowhard that uses threats uh, to try and be a strong man and, and you think that's going to start, I think that's the wrong direction. Even if, he, if someone like Trump was able to launch for a strike and take them out first, I think we would still lose that. I think that's still a loss. There is no winner, but there's some calculation. And, and uh, I think generally conscious thought and decision on the aftermath and not just the knee-jerk reaction of defense i think is the more enlightened path i also don't think it should be would i don't think it would be up to i don't know if i would make that choice just to be clear anyway that's my happy thought of the morning after feeling like crap for several days so, uh, uh, peace, please.